Hello everyone, Kree here, Bream at the Kimmel Top Lane, and today we are against an Ornn. I missed a minion, which is actually tragic. Before I do the runes, I'm currently going to Ornn, I do want to say, hit the subscribe button because it most certainly means a lot to me. Second, hit that notification bell because why would you want to miss another video of me? And third, last but not least, Q2 disengage. Woo, sheesh, that damage. <laughs> and third, last but not least, drop a comment. If you have a question or you just want to say hi, feel free to drop me a comment down below and I will respond. So, runes I'm currently going are pressed attack, presence of mind, bloodline, auto Q2, auto here. We're gonna use this pillar. One, two. Mm, I'm not sure if my. Nah, it's perfectly fine. I just kill him off the next Anyways, as I was saying, uh, press attack, presence of mind, triumph. I said triumph, no, bloodline, last stand, then man flow bland plus presence of mind. There you go. Wait. Manflow Band Transcendence. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what's wrong with me today, but anyways, you obviously clearly see that these are not normal Kamo Roots. That is because these, I'm currently doing a build suggestion. So if you do want to drop me a build suggestion down in the comments below, I mean, yeah, that's all you have to do. Just literally just drop in the comment section below and I will get to it. I will reply saying I, whether I might do it or not, you know. But I won't do it immediately, obviously, because, you know, like, if you got time, I have my time is money. One more Q. Bye bye. <laughs> he popped the potion with the time warp tonic, but it's not gonna be enough, unfortunately, buddy. That's very unfortunate. We're gonna be maxing Q this matchup, obviously, because it is Orn. He is a tank, so feel free to do that. I'm also playing. I don't think you win this. Okay, she does win this. Uh, her E did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Not gonna lie. You know, I definitely would have won had I hit my W. If I W'd, I definitely... Because then I would have gotten the heal, right? Then, you know, the E stun, whatever. I should have auto-attacked, but it's fine. Perfectly fine. So, this is the build suggestion, by the way. I'm currently doing Blue Bay Camille. So, essentially, I'm going to be stacking this tier as fast as possible. By doing that, I'm going to be rushing the mana immune because literally, like, Camille's not a champion that actually stacks it really fast. So, you have to do this. And I also forgot... I already said this, but I, I didn't elaborate on this. That I am playing with members of my Discord server. If you do want to be part of that, I do play on the NA server. But all you have to do is join my Discord server. And I will sometimes at here in general chat and all you have to do is respond if i get more than four people then it'll just be a five five custom game <laughs> all right so let's see how's it going over here not bad so far this guy bought a cloth armor as he should but anyways let's talk about the orn matchup orn he's a very scary tank just because he does a lot of damage interrupt it disengage here it's really unfortunate that riot gave me an 80 shield just because that's not what you want to earn. You want an AP show because his Brutal Puck literally does the most of his damage. And that's the most unfortunate thing ever because his Brutal Puck does like what? 12% of your total HP? That's scary, right? Tag him there. Stun him here. Change the CC. Nice. That's a splash. Yo, good job, Silas. Let's go. Really good gank on this part right there. I actually need that because obviously the guy does a ton of damage. He has more base HP than me, so that gank actually does help out a ton. Even if it doesn't get the kill. His flash alone is enough. And we definitely forced his teeth, which is pretty nice. All this once. I will say that during these build challenges, I do tend to have a lot more fun than try hard. But I will still try to, you know, actually teach you guys something, you know. I'm not going to be stupid. <laughs> Just be a auto Q2. He either way, actually. Interesting. The reason why I moved upwards, by the way, is to dodge his Brutal Puck. Q Max also does help you dodge his Brutal Proc because it gives you a ton more movement, which is really nice. Uh, I'm actually gonna just crash into my turret. It's a lot of minions. I don't want to take too much damage. That is unfortunate. <laughs> he gave me a really good gank that left the game okay. Welcome back, good sir. I'm gonna miss that. That's fine. Focus this. Oh, I could have. It'd be very close whether I got there or not. Ping am I. He is here. He is full HP. He's popped all his corrupting potions. Come on, man. Don't disrespect me now. <laughs> I mean, he's just gonna do it, build it right there. I mean, not much I can do about it. It is what it is, though. He's actually not building. Bro, just build your item. <laughs> what am I going to do? Oh, I'm level 6. My Ignite's coming up now, though. And I do want to make a play with my Ignite. Because obviously, I have tears, so I didn't really add any damage. Just gave myself mana. That doesn't really do anything for me now, does it? Let's kill this guy here. Q. Q again. Bye-bye, good sir. That's what happens when you overextend. <laughs> I mean... I, it doesn't matter that I interrupted his either, because even if he presses W to stop me, I mean, to not get stunned by my E, I would have just pressed R anyways, and he wouldn't have gained any distance, right? So, no matter what, he wasn't going to die there. He just had to not be walked up like that, which is really unfortunate for him anyways. But, 
The real runes I generally take into the guy are conquer. I mean, conquer to any tank is pretty much what you do as Camille. Because against tanks, you can easily go for those extended trades because they don't do as much damage as other champions, right? But anyways, the Orn matchup, Q Max, like I said, do most true damage to the guy. Also giving that move, see that kite alongside him. This time you're stealth. What can I do? <laughs> you're so sad. <laughs> you're so sad. You sad little thing. You sad little girl. Keep chasing me. Wow, you're so sad. She flashed and everything too. So Evelyn F. It's gonna come up at 1200. Like actually, that's I, it's so tragic. I feel I'd say I feel bad for you, but I don't. <laughs> like just leave me alone. Let me rock. God damn. Anyways, uh, by the way, Yorick support on the enemy team. You know, just thought I'd let you guys know. <laughs> just thought I'd let you guys know. But as I was saying, um, I was talking about the orange matchup. Yes. So. The way you should generally use your ultimate is just to dodge his ultimate, but that's only if, you know, he goes for an all-in against you. You won't be going for an all-in against him either, so it should be, so you should have your ultimate to either just lock him down to go for a free kill, or like I said, to dodge his ultimate at all times. So it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Definitely pretty easy. How much AD do I have? 160. This gives 35. That's not bad, actually. And it does, and it does scale really nicely. That's the thing about Blue Bay Camille, or at least, you know, Miramata. It just scales really nicely. Anyways, I didn't really go about the build now, did I? So, Blue Bay Camille, we're going to be going this right here into these three items here. That's what I'm going to be going for first. W him. He messed up the Blast Plant. I'm going to keep this fight going. Just because Graves is coming. Smoke screen. Nice. He needs to get... Nah, he's way too fast. When you pop a Time Warp Tonic, you get a lot more movement speed. That's really unfortunate. That was really... <laughs> like, he messed up the Blast Plant. <laughs> that was actually hilarious. Whatever, though. He's half HP, he's popping all his potions. I really uh, effed that up. Yes, you did, good sir. Yes, you did. Q2, let's keep this out, though. Keep autoing. Reason why I really rushed this, by the way, is because it's the fastest way to stack if you're an auto type based champion. For example, Ezreal sometimes finishes it too because he can just auto type the wave and doesn't have to worry about pressing abilities. But that's if he wants to, right? I mean, if you play Ezreal, you're going to be spamming abilities, so you can just sit on tier as you go into Triforce or something. He's taking a lot of minion damage. Oh, I actually could have... He popped this potion. I don't know. I mean, I definitely could have killed him. It's just whether or not I would have survived <laughs> under a turret, you know? But I should be able to go for a dive here now that I popped his bone plating because bone plating does reduce a ton of damage. You don't want to be reducing your damage. Q2. <laughs> yeah, I was right. I definitely could have killed the guy right there. My Q2 did a ton of damage. Auto Q. Q showing this out. So we're just snowballing off the guy right now. And I also realized that it's easier to... Do ignite with these ghost suggestions just because uh why i mean it helps me snowball helps me snowball a lead and get fed really easily right so that's why i do it i mean in rank games i also take ignite ignite is not a bad summer spell on camille but the thing is that you have to keep in mind that you can't always that tp is sometimes a better option like if you're the thing is the only time i would ever opt for ignite is if my mid laner does have tp if he doesn't have if he has a if my mid laner has ignite then i wouldn't really opt for it now my style is here has died three times but that is okay because why he get he's giving me a shutdown <laughs> now all led up to the shutdown since there's no subs for kill yep ty now nah, i say ty to you you gave me you gave me a nice shutdown dude and this wave should freeze on his side of the map which is really nice i'm not gonna take his wave you can come over here and pick it up we're gonna eat over this wall graze chill last it like if you wanted to you could last it but yeah i'm gonna make it in time just because it is a cannon wave I should be able to get this. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. My E wasn't up. I mean, maybe, you know, if I flashed, it would have been worth it, but it's okay. Let's see, out of this. Uh, by the way, the person who suggested this build actually wanted me to go Ravenous Hydra. However, 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 is it really blue if I go red? You know, like, is it really blue if I go red? Now, I understand that Black Cleaver is uh, is one of the items here just because um, it gets 20% CDR. So when I do, and I am running Transcendence, so it is going to give more damage, which is really nice. W here. I'm just going to shove this out in the back here. I have 2k gold I'm sitting on. I definitely want to spend it. I'm definitely going to rush Merc Treads, by the way. I don't know why I don't have Boots as a selected item. My build page. Relax. Relax. Very nice. It's back here. Hit that. Back. I am going to buy Merc Treads now, actually. It's really good for your team. As you can clearly see, they have slow, stun, charm, slow. They have three AP threats. Ezreal does AP. This guy does AP2 on top of that, so it's actually pretty good. 
Let's buy the TMAC component. Now, the build suggester did want me to go have an assassin. I think I just will, just because, you know, he suggested it, obviously, right? And also because, uh, sustain. You know, sustain is really good. Like with Bloodline and Ravenous Hydra, it actually gives you 30% life steal, and that alone is insane, which is pretty nice. The only HP I will have though is from Black Cleaver, which is kind of scary. But I should be able to do enough damage to the point where I can still one shot people. Because once you actually get this item right here, and then you know, obviously I stack it with these two mana items, it's actually you do a lot of damage, and you will see shortly. Q2, not bad damage. He used Harold Midland. All right, wish to use the top lane. You know, I could, I could use the gold, but hey, that hey, that's just me. <laughs> I mean, I can't get this on my own. I am gonna look to go for a kill on the Orn. That is the plan here. Auto Q, walk over here, drop this ward. Let's me get early vision on the guy so I could go for a play like this. Q2 disengage, give him a W. Oh, and that's why Orn is scary because he can 100 to zero you like that. Like, how was that balanced? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I took two turret shots, but you see how much damage he did to me? That is insane. Um, Graves does zero damage, and there is no plants up. Someone took it. I don't know who, but someone did. Uh, he could kill him, guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's maxing W. Like, there's no way he loses that. Nice. Uh, I can't do anything about this. I mean, I can eventually. Oh, there's Santa R. She, she could have saved me, too. She still has ultimate. Oh, she doesn't. You know, I really thought she had ultimate this entire time. <laughs> that's why I didn't go in immediately. But hey, I take three kills. <laughs> I don't even take three kills. <laughs> you really want me to limit test that hard. Thought she had R. So I didn't move him. Drop W. This guy's taking my entire wave. Jesus, man. Focus this. Oh, I'm gonna take two shots here. That's unfortunate. Out of that, never mind, he presses W instead. But we got first area, which is really nice. Nice, let's E over here and back off. I really thought she had ultimate. I'm kind of surprised that she didn't have it. Or maybe she... Like, if she did use it, she just did it, right? Then it was back off here. But yeah, this guy did a ton of damage to me. I mean, to be fair, like I said, I took two turret shots. But he still did a lot. So, let's buy this. More true damage, the better. I can just sell you, actually. Go into Vampiric Scepter. So, we're currently 5 one Over 50% KP, which is really nice. As much as I want to roam towards Bali, and if I had TP, I would, but since I don't, I have to go up here and actually face this Orn. Testing build suggestion? Yes. Build suggestion. Let's see, 522. I should be able to stack this by 20 minutes, which is really good. Like, the fastest you can get this, then you'll actually pop off. Because I remember I got this late at one point. Like, I, I finished this item like 10 minutes into the game or something. I don't know what happened that game. This should not have been possible. That item was very cheap. But that's what happened. And. I then like by the time I was looking at when I was stacking it, I would have finished stacking by like I don't know, 35 minutes, which would have been really bad. He was here, but he backed. I mean, it's whatever. I wanted to shove the wave. The farm is more important than he is. We're gonna roam down here. How's the stacking looking? Five, six, two, not bad. I'm not. I was gonna W, but there's no. Oh my god. 11% just off of level one. That's insane. This guy got one v two. That's tragic. This guy got the cloud jack though, which is really nice. I'm gonna sit here. I don't know if this is ward or not. I'm actually not gonna see. I'm just gonna clear the wave. There's no reason for me to sit there. One. Oh, what? Huh? What happened? <laughs> Wait, what happened? I missed it. There's a Sidra right there. I'm on my way. Yeah, Evelyn's definitely down there as well, but I'm gonna start walking. Yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah, she definitely has R. Like, I don't know why else you'll do that. Graves is here. I'm with you, buddy. So, Graves does zero damage. Oh, yes, you have to spend his gold. Nice. Come here, beautiful. I don't have flash. She knocked me away, but she's under turret. I mean, she's gonna survive. Bye bye. <laughs> nice flash, dummy. <laughs> nice flash. All right. So we got Ravnus Hydra on our back, which is pretty nice. Ornus been pushing topside. I'm already down here, so I might as well do this. Oh, as your buddy. Oh, I tagged him. The ultimate. The center, oh, nice, good job. And he goes one for one. You know what I see? We take those because I get this turret by myself now. Look at that, free gold, let's go. <laughs> let's keep doing this. Hey, wait, he actually, he actually went two and six. I was jokingly saying, go. he was like, How, do you think I'll do pretty good in the Sandra? I'm like, you know what? You should limit us and go two and six. And he actually went two and six, which is surprising, not gonna lie. Uh, I will shove this out. 
Might as well, right? Have the AD. I have to sustain to do it. Q2. Don't miss that. Nice. And we're going to E out of here. I'm actually going to go inside the bush just in case Evelyn does roam down here. So we're going to do that. I'm going to start buying control wards. And we're going to go for our far side alteration here. Just because the only the best way to actually find out where Evelyn is by getting deep wards inside the map. So by you, get you. We're going to go into... I'll get the Sheen component here. By you. And by you. I'm not... I mean, there's no point in me sitting on the mana yet. Just because I don't have this fully stacked yet. By the time I'm back, I'm pretty sure this will be fully stacked, but I'm not I'm most likely not gonna any fights. By the time this gets fully stacked, I'll probably have Iceborne Gauntlet on my back. So I rather just opt to sit on a control ward where I can actually place to spot Evelyn out, like I said. We're gonna drop this ward over here. That is permanent vision. I wanna get it on their side of the map. Oh, that's good heal. Nice. Really good job. The cannon! Oh, that's, I mean I gotta see for it. That's all that matters, I guess. Cause there's no way I could have gone through it. Just focus it, buddy, you got it. Nice. As much as I want to dive you, I don't want to give away a shutdown for free. <laughs> if I had Zanyas, I would, you know? If it's stopwatch or, you know, Derek's gauge. Something that made me tanky, I definitely would. How much tree damage? 5-5-4. Five, five, not bad, not bad. You know, I could bait her. That is the plan. Oh, he wants me to shove. I was hoping I could get her to walk up. Oh, the Orno! He hits it. Oh, you went under turret. Oh, nice try, buddy. <laughs> uh, I took a lot more damage than I thought from that turret shot. Now, I, I do want to think that it's because he took one turret shot. All right, calm it down, girl. You don't have flash, do you? E over. Oh, 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 scary. <laughs> Very scary. Because she threw her Q over the wall right there. I most likely would have died. Yeah, I will die to an ER, so I am going to keep walking. Woo. All right, I think I'm safe. At least I want to hope I'm safe. Uh, we're actually very close to Iceborne Gauntlet. Mm. Oh, you're not here, right? Okay, 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 okay. You gotta be a little, just gotta be careful. We got okay, okay. We found her. Never mind. <laughs> All right, we found her. We're good. I repeat, we are good. We're gonna get this. This will put me at forty percent CDR. Once I clear this wave up, then we go towards Black Cleaver just so we get a bit, a little bit of tankiness plus four hundred HP. You know, never does any harm. And like I said, I did fully stack the Mirror Mana. Or, yeah, Mirror Mana. But I wasn't going to fight anyone. So I didn't need to buy this uh, Mana Component. Yes, see, did clear my ward, unfortunately. So I will be able to buy another one right here. So let's see. So far, we are looking mighty blue besides the Ravenous Hydra, obviously. But nonetheless, it's pretty good. So let's see. We're making an icy zone size of 219. No, what's my bonus damage? 106. All right, not bad. 20% armor. We're at... 37% not bad. I thought for some reason it was going to be a 47, but no, I already had Sheen. So obviously it didn't. Really good. I got my assist. Q this twice. He has missed of Naden. It's kind of whack. Not going to like Q2. How much it does? 601. Not bad. This does give you a lot of on-hit damage, though. Single target spells and attacks on hit. I mean, champions can do 3% bonus mana. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> like... He's trying to be funny, but it's like also not funny. You know, like that's the thing. That's the thing about it. Like I, I don't, I truly don't think things like that are funny. That's just me though. Let's keep checking this out though. You, I mean, their entire team just got wiped. <laughs> their entire team did just get wiped. That's unfortunate. Like I don't think me. I mean, I one shot of Evelyn, but I don't think me being with the difference. All right, well they forfeited. So GJ played. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.